And then she explained the condom to me. And what did she say? She told me that uh, she has him put it on when they cuddle because she is worried about uh, any kind of emissions getting anywhere close to her. Ashley Gavin, your TikTok therapist. Hello, welcome to The Fuck Is Your Problem. These are live therapy calls that people make to me on TikTok. Even though I am not a therapist, I am a comedian. They are 100% real and they are only edited for lag and repetition and audio blips. I hope you enjoy. Why are all your problems so gay? You guys have a lot of gay problems. If I weren't gay, this would be offensive. I'm having a lot of anxiety because I got into a car accident yesterday. This sounds like something that I can't help with. So let's call them. Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi, this is Ashley Gavin. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm fine. <laughs> how are you? The age old question that no one knows how to answer. What are you, some type of comedian? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. No. Don't make any more jokes. <laughs> what do you want me to call you for the duration of this recorded phone call? I'm CJ. Hi, CJ. You understand that I'm not a therapist and I have <laughs> yes. really no right to be doing this and it could be bad for your health? <laughs> yes, definitely. You understand that I'm going to roast you and make jokes and it's all in good fun Sounds and good. don't be a little snowflake about it? Definitely. Okay, and let me just see CJ. I got, let me pull up my file. Ugh, this is my, this is my file. I organized my files. I don't have you in, I don't, I don't have you in here. What, who is your podcast provider? Um, I basically, a whole bunch of them. I just watch on everything possible. Okay, and are you, are you listening to We're Having Gay Sex? <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> that is probably your problem, CJ. Okay, CJ, the fuck is your problem? Um, I've just had, I was in a car crash yesterday. My car spun out and hit a uh, pole on the side of the road really hard at 90 miles per hour. Why were you and, driving? Um, why, well, who was driving this car? Me. CJ, why were you driving 90 miles an hour? Because that was the speed limit. Where, where the hell are you from? <laughs> Utah? People can just drive 90 miles an hour in Utah? Yeah. Where do Mormons need to be? Where do Mormons need to be that they can drive 90 miles an hour? I don't feel that Brigham Young needed to get anywhere that fast. The journey was very long. It took a long time. It was super slow. No one expects to get to the land of milk and honey at 90 miles an hour. Why do you need to go that fast? Can you even go that no fast with all your wives in your car? That's a lot of weight to be driving 90 miles. You need a lot of horsepower for that. You don't find the golden plates at 90 miles an hour. You got to slow down and look. You know what I mean? Yeah, Who's definitely. Going this what is going on in Utah? Oh, I got to see the Red Rocks. What are you talking about? No one's doing anything in Utah. The speed limit should be, whoopsie, the speed limit should be directly correlated to shit to do. Okay, so in New York City, you can go a million miles an hour. I decree it. I'm going to call Bill de Blasio right after this. His wife is a lesbian. She probably listens to the podcast. Okay, that, but in Utah, you walk everywhere. Okay, so you're going 90 miles an hour to see one of your wives or whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was driving, I was driving and the front right tire just popped and it caused my car to spin out and the passenger side, so the car spun out, I was in the far left lane and my car spun out all the way across the four lanes and ended up hitting a mile marker on the opposite side of the road on the uh, shoulder of the road. Okay. Um, you, but you're I have no okay. more mirror on my car. You ruined <laughs> the mirror? The mirror is gone. What? You ruined the mirror? Yeah, the mirror and the side of the door CJ, are gone. CJ, your lack of gratitude for your life. See, this is how I know you're not Mormon. Any Mormon would be like, oh, praise Jupiter, whatever the fuck they think. They would be like, Play, praise Jupiter for me not dying. You know what I mean? But you, you yeah. have no God in your life, you little gay. You have no God in your life. You have no gratitude 
that you didn't die. Mm -hmm. You should have I'm very grateful I didn't die. I'm didn't also very <laughs> I'm very grateful I didn't die. I'm also very grateful no one was in the front seat. Yes. No one was in the passenger seat. Yes. My girlfriend was saying that she wishes she was in the car with me, and I was like, "No, I really, I'm glad that you weren't because ah, you probably would have got so much more hurt than I did." Loser! Oh, I wish I had been in the car for you so that I could comfort you d d during our car crash. What a lesbians! Oh my God, the codependency, Jesus! <laughs> but yeah, I think. My anxiety stems from less, like, what did happen. Like, I'm obviously very anxious about what happened, but I'm also more freaking out about what could have happened. Like I mentioned in the text, you know, had I not hit that mile marker, I would have dropped off of a, into a 20-foot ditch. Right. So just stop thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah just, I... <laughs> just stop it. This is so easy. You're the worst. Hold on. This is your diagnosis. You're the worst. Stop being the worst. The worst. Okay, CJ, I, um, here's the thing, that you need to go listen to my podcast immediately. That's the only way you'll be saved right, by- I'm on my way right now. By the Mormons and get your own planet, okay? Okay, perfect. All right, bye, CJ. Bye, thank you. Oh my God. You Gen Z kids. Have gratitude that you're alive. It's Corona. Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi. This is Ashley Gavin. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking on this re re recorded phone call with? Uh, this is Ellie. Ellie? Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you Allie, okay, Ellie? Okay, chill. Allie, you understand that I am not a, uh, a, a real therapist? Yeah. And Allie, you understand that I'm going to roast you and make fun of you and all that shit? Yeah, probably. Okay. And how do you spell your name, Allie? Well, E-L-L-I-E. I-E? Great. I'm calling you Allie. No, I'm calling you Ally. All right, Ally, who is your podcast provider? Spotify. Okay, and are you listening to We're Having Gay Sex every Monday? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. The fuck is your problem, Ally? Um, so I explained to the text, like, my sister. I didn't, really listen, I'm going to be totally honest with you. That text was, was three years long. That text, oh, I'm so sorry. That text was a, a, a chapter in the Bible. No, and you know, no one really reads that. Okay, so tell me what happened. Um, I just found a condom in her boyfriend's bag, and I told her because she's a virgin, and I was like. Wait, 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 who, who are we talking about? Allie, ally, ally, My. ally, beginning, middle, end, begin narrative okay. structure, okay? In okay. The, the beginning, what, who are the cast of characters? Okay, beginning, my sister and her boyfriend. Got it. How old's your sister? My, she's like 25, I think. 25, and she's a virgin? Yes. Okay, for what reason? Um, religious reasons. God? Yes, She's God. saving it for marriage? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Um, Connecticut. Connecticut? Mm-hmm. That's weird. I was going to assume Iowa or some shit. No. <laughs> Connecticut? Connecticut yeah. is like a pretty normal place. There aren't virgins yeah, in see, Connecticut. I mean, People yeah, in Connecticut play normal. tennis, but they're not virgins. People in Connecticut, they go to the country club, but they're not virgins. She's both of those things. She, she plays tennis, goes to the country club, and is a virgin? Yeah. I hate to tell you this, but your sister is a very annoying character in this movie. I'm so sorry. It gets worse. Is she your younger sister or your older sister? Older. Oh, God, that sucks. Your sister sucks. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Okay, all right. So anyway, your older gay sister. She's not gay. Well, that's not really up to you to say, is it? It's up to me to I say. <laughs> and I say she's gay. Tell me about your sister and her boyfriend who she doesn't want to see the pain of. Um, well, they're not having sex. And I found a condom when he was over. In his bag? And I told her. Yeah. You went through his bag? No, I was just put, hanging it up. It just You were just hanging it up and the, the condom <laughs> just fell out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Something what like else that. fell out? 
something his like that. His phone and all these text messages just spilled onto the floor. And you were like, oh my God, mm-hmm. look at all these text messages and these condoms on the floor. The condom falls out. What brand of condom? Trojan. What size? I don't remember, but I don't think it was like the big kind. That's good to know. So he's realistic. I think so, yeah. And so did you immediately think that he's sleeping with other people or did you think maybe he's just keeping this around in case she changes her mind? I thought he was like ready to have like a big talk with her and try to change her mind. Okay. Is he a a, a, a God-fearing Looney Tune? No, actually. Okay. And how old is he? I have no idea. 25 or 26. Okay. So he's banged. He's, He's banged. Mm-hmm. What do they both do for living? They're both in grad school. Studying what? Um, like medicine. She's studying medicine and she won't woo Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Do you, I don't want someone who believes in God as my doctor. I want an atheist doctor. If I'm on the bed and the doctor is like, oh my God, she might die. I don't want them thinking that I'm going to the kingdom of heaven. I want them knowing that if they screw up, the lights go out. That's it. I'm never waking Mm -hmm. up. I don't want a doctor that's like, maybe Jesus will help. Jesus, take the scalpel. I don't need that in my life. That's scary. I think anytime you ask a doctor, you should be like, do you renounce Christ? And they should go, absolutely. And then I go, great, cut me open, doc. <laughs> well, she would not be a good doctor for you then. They're both becoming doctors. One I'd consider, the other is an absolute hard pass. You find the condom. You think he's going to bring it up. What do you do? I just told her, and then she explained the condom to me. And what did she say? She told me that... Uh, she has him put it on when they cuddle because she is worried about uh, any kind of emissions getting anywhere close to her. Just in case. <laughs> she, she's worried. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, she's screwing with you. She's screwing with you because she doesn't want you to know that they're doing it. They must be doing it. I really don't think so. Yo, put boy, what's the boyfriend's name? John. Put John on the phone. John. John. You whipped little piece of shit. Are you dating this woman and you're putting on a condom for snuggling? And you two are going to be doctors? Are you kidding me? What? What? Put John on the phone. I have to talk to John. I don't live with them. This relationship needs to end immediately. Unless this is their kink, then I'm okay. If you guys are role playing, little teenagers, oh, I'm not ready yet, but put it on just in case. Fine, you weird freaks, do what you gotta do. But if you guys work in medicine and you're putting these, this is not about the cuddling. This is about the relationship. Is your dad in the picture? Something's wrong with somebody. Somebody's got real woo 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 issues and they're taking it out on his poor pee pee. That's what's happening here. Oh my God, one of them's a serial murderer. Which one is it? Is, are, there ba- um, are there bodies in your basement? I, when she told you this, how did you react? Did you go, uh, listen, Scientology is not the only way. Did you say to them, I can get you help out of whatever cult you're in? What did you say? I didn't really say anything because I didn't want to make her feel bad. So I feel like I need to talk. That's why I'm asking for advice because I feel like I need to say something about it. But yeah, at the time, I just said, okay. How long have they been dating? Like four years. Four years. Yeah. They are trapped in a very bad relationship. I mean, it's, I don't it's, even know I where to begin day. because your sister could have so many. I don't. We don't even know how to dissect this. Will your sister listen to you? Does she take you seriously? No. Are you worried that, want... that you're going to be indoctrinated into some sort of a uh, uh, situation where you're working at a farmer's market wearing like weird garb? 
Yeah, I just want to tell her that this is weird and she should know it's weird. <laughs> so I don't know how to tell her that. Yeah, that's really hard. That's that's a really hard thing to say because I've been in the situation where I've heard some weird shit and you're like, how do I let this person know that this is abnormal? Why mm-hmm. is she so worried about fluids? Uh, I really couldn't tell you. That's like, where I would start. Like- I would start non-judgmentally in fact-based lingo. I would say something like, you're a f- almost doctor. Was she, is she trying to be a doctor, a nurse? What's she trying to do? Um, a doctor. She really, okay. All right. This is as bad as I thought it was. What type of, go- what kind of doctor? Not a gynecologist. Please help me. Please do not no, say gynecologist. She, like she doesn't know yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So, okay. 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 I think you need to go in because, listen, I'm dropping the facade here. They need help. So I think yeah. that what you need to say is like, you know that you can't get AIDS from a toilet seat, right? <laughs> you you say mm-hmm. that. You say, mm-hmm. you know that you can't get the old herp from holding hands. So why do you think that you're going to get preggers while you snuggle? I would ask her that. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Because that's factual. It's not a judgment on who she is. And then maybe Mm -hmm. you can open up the conversation into her trauma that will inevitably come out. Yeah, that will happen. I require that you call me back and you tell me how this conversation goes. Tonight? No, whenever you have it. Okay, sounds good. How is this happening in Connecticut? Uh, listen, it's not happening to me or the rest of my family. Uh, what is, uh, is your family like a God-fearing family? No. What is going on with your sister? I, I'm actually, now I'm more worried that your sister had some sort of traumatic thing happen to her. No, she just got really religious in college. That's not just, people don't just get, here's the thing. I'm going to point something out. No one just gets religion as an adult. If you find religion as an adult, you have hit rock bottom. Something very, very bad happened to you. That is the only reason that you find religion. No one's just plugging along without religion and thinks, oh my God, I should, I should find Jesus Christ in my heart. No one joins Scientology and is like, yeah, I was having a great year financially. I met my wife. She's my soulmate. And I decided to join Scientology. No, no. They found themselves naked in a dumpster on fire in Las Vegas. And they had nothing else going on. They were walking down the street and they saw the building and they thought, well, I got to give it a shot. I don't think that's what happened to my sister. Something. So I'm telling you, ally. Something happened to your sister. Investigate. Okay. I, you don't believe me, but I know. I know because I've been there. I have I mean, been I'm at the bad. rock bottom. Things are not good. Yeah, they're definitely not good. That's for sure. You got to get in there now before whatever. He, is he in the cult too? Uh, I don't think either of them are in a cult, but it, since you think they're in a cult, probably both of them. I have so many questions. <laughs> I can try to give you answers. Get the answers. I okay. will we'll talk soon. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, that was a wild one. That was wild. That was crazy.